Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is also busy rolling out our July Patch Tuesday B-Release security update for Windows 11 versions 22H2 and 23H2. And for this month, our compulsory mandatory security update for Windows 11 is KB5040442. And the update rolled out uh, late yesterday in my region on the 9th of uh, July. And as you may well know, the Patch Tuesday updates roll out on the second Tuesday of every month. Now, the security issues that have been addressed uh, this month uh, in Windows 11 include 73 vulnerabilities in total, which is three more than Windows 10. We also get the same critical vulnerability that's been fixed, that was fixed uh, in Windows 10, fixed now on Windows 11. And that's listed as Windows Image in Component Remote Code Execution Vulnerability. So that's an important fix because a critical vulnerability is your highest ranked vulnerability. And then we get 70 important issues that have been fixed when it comes to the security side of things. So 73 vulnerabilities in total, one critical, 70 important. So nonetheless, some important security issues being addressed for this month. Now, the good news is that over and above the security issues that have been fixed, KB5040442 also fixes a taskbar known issue, which I have posted a whole video on. So if you want more info regarding that known issue, I will leave that video linked down below and in the end screen. But just a quick recap, the known issue that the update fixes is that you might not, not be able to view or interact with the taskbar after you install this update, KB5039302, which was last month's optional bug fix C release update for June, which rolled out near the end of uh, last month. And apparently this was occurring on devices that run the Windows N edition. And this edition, as you may well know, is like other editions, but lacks most media related tools. But over and above the Windows N edition, it was also occurring on so-called normal versions of Windows 11 if you turn off media features from the control panel. And I posted a whole video on that. So if you want more info, go check that out. So that taskbar known issue has finally been addressed according to Microsoft. And then once again, the security update will include the improvements that were part of KB5039302, which rolled out um, late last month, as mentioned. So if you didn't install this update, those new features and improvements will be carried over into this update. Now, there was quite a lot going on in KB5039302, and I did post once again a video on that, and I'll leave that link down below and in the end screen as well, because it included six new features and add and plenty bug fixes. Now, um, if you want more info, go check that video out. But um, just to do a quick recap for the purpose of today's video. Uh, if we head over to our homepage in settings, um, it adds a new Game Pass recommendations card on the settings homepage. Now, I haven't got that because it only appears if you are doing a lot of gaming and are signed in with a Microsoft account. The show desktop button is on the taskbar again by default which microsoft turned on because of copilot sorry turned off because of copilot and i don't know if you can see that in the bottom right there to the right hand side of my system tray show desktop it's a little toggle and that's on again by default and obviously you can, if you click on that you can show and hide your desktop and if you want to know how to turn that off go check that video out because i mentioned that in that previous video and you can also now create seven zip and tape archive tar files when using the context menu and that's still on a controlled rollout because i haven't received that feature yet it also adds support for emoji 15.1 and you can also now copy files from the windows share window and it also starts the rollouts of the new account manager on the start menu so if you click on your profile this is what microsoft is calling an account manager but I'm going to call this an ad because obviously Microsoft is pushing their products um, in this little uh, notification banner regarding what they call the account manager. But nonetheless, that's now available. And I actually don't enjoy this. I find it just gets in the way of other useful um, components of the start menu. But nonetheless, that is listed as a new feature. And then it also includes 
five task manager improvements. So a lot was going on in the task manager that was addressed and fixed. And it also included plenty more fixes. So that's, um, as mentioned, what rolled out with uh, KB 503932. Um, towards the end of June last month. So as mentioned, that video will be linked in the end screen and down below. And over and above that, guys, that's more or less what's new. So in total, it added six new features and add bug fixes and security updates and then addresses that known issue. And once this update is installed, if you are interested, just to check out the OS build. If we head over to uh, Winver, which will open up the About Windows dialog in menu. For Windows 11 23H2, uh, the OS build is 22631.3880. And for Windows 11 22H2, that'll be 22621.3880. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.